Today I've got the Revix 2 and the Revix 4 by Prime Archery. And right out of the box, both of these bows were set up and tuned really quickly. I think it took me two shots on the Revix 2 to tune and probably three or four, I think, on the 4 to get tuned. No real issues there. However, recently I decided to put a new string on the Revix 2, an America's Best Bow String, for no real reason other than I like the colors of it and I've always wanted to try one out just to see if I liked them or not. And I ran into an issue. When I put this new string and cable on this Revix 2, I could not for the life of me get this bow to tune and couldn't figure out why. And it was a silly mistake that I forgot about and that was checking to see if my cams were in time. I had a super high tear and didn't matter the amount of adjustments that I made on the arrow rest, it just would not tune. I could have moved my knock point, but then it actually hit me. The cams, the cams were out of time. So I put the bow on the draw board and sure enough, the cams were out of time. So today I'm gonna to show you how to fix that and hopefully save you guys a lot of time and effort when it comes to tuning your bows. The key thing that we're looking for here is this cable stop right here. It's on both of your cams. And what you wanna watch is whenever this bow comes to full draw, you want this cable stop to actually touch the cable at the exact same time on the top and bottom. If one hits before the other, that is an issue and that means that your cams are out of time. Now if your cams are out of time, you need to first diagnose which one actually hit the cables first and which one did not hit the cable. The cable stop that first hits the cable, that's the end that you wanna make an adjustment on. So in this case, it is the top cam is actually hitting first, the cable stop is hitting first, and the bottom is not hitting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen up this bow in the bow press here, and we're gonna take off this cable, and this cable here we're gonna take off, and we're gonna do a few twists to the cable, going with the same direction as the twist of the string. So we're gonna do three twists, and we're gonna see where we're at and then we'll put it back into the drawing board and see if we are in time or not, or if we need to add more twist. So we want both cable stops hitting at the exact same time once we put it in the drawing board. That is a perfectly in time bow. Well, now we've got the bow perfectly in tune. You know, starting out, I had a really high paper tear, couldn't figure out what was going on, made the adjustments to my arrow rest, was even considering moving my knock point, and then I realized that maybe I should check the timing of the cams. That's something that I should have done right away and that you should honestly do on any bow before you start moving everything. Check the timing of your cams, make sure they're in time, that will make a difference. After I fixed the timing of the cams, sure enough that high paper tear was gone. I had just a slight left tear, moved the arrow rest to the right, and I was perfectly in tune shooting bolt holes. So now it's time to go throw some arrows down range, but hopefully that little tip helps you guys out. 